Now we are on to the mountain. So in our plan, we have some JD mountains across the top. We have some extra details that we'll be talking about a little bit. And we're going to kind of wing it. Okay, so grab a pencil. And what we're going to be doing is I'm picking about like halfway between my horizon line and my top. And I'm going to start drawing some jaggedy mountains. You can start by going up. You can start by going down. I like going down first, but that is a personal preference. And you can have your mountains be as perfectly straight or as jagged as you want. You can have them be as steep as you want. You can do as many as you want, as skinny as you want, whatever you like. So that is step one, is to get your mountain sort of outline sketch right there. I'm going to make mine a little bit darker so that you can see just a hair better on the video. There you go. And then the next thing you need to do is you need to extend your slant. Okay, let's go in this direction just a little bit, and I'll show you why. Just a little bit, just a little bit, and then you're going to bring down a slightly squiggly line to meet up with it. This is going to be a shadow, okay, uh, coming from the mountain. So you have a little bit of three-dimensionality in it. So that's the form that we were talking about, trying to make things look 3D. And then the other thing that we're going to add is we're going to add we're going to pretend there's like some crevasses or some craters of where snow used to be. So we're going to add a couple of those hiding in here. So those are just sort of like abstracty kind of shapes uh, that you have sort of halfway up the mountain. So I just add some squiggles in there. Um, and that's all you really need to do for that little bit for the pencil part. Then we're going to swap tools right here. I'm getting out my thin Sharpie. And I'm going to start by adding a nice line across my horizon line boom and then start outlining the lines for my mountains now if you don't follow your lines perfectly it is okay you drew your lines in pencil originally so anything that you can still see after you use your marker your sharpie you can erase those and no one will know the wiser so it is okay you just want to make sure you stay pretty close to your original plan because if you go really off of your original plan, well, then you uh, might be making an actual mistake. So please be very careful. All right. So what we're going to do to make these look even more like shadows, okay? What do you notice about shadows? Okay, take a look at my hands. What do you notice about the paper? Yeah, the paper's darker, okay? Now, since we're talking about contrast, okay, contrast, we're talking about opposite elements. So we have rough versus smooth. We have light versus dark. White versus black, okay? So we have this contrast going on with the materials that we're currently using, which is really cool. So we're going to add even more contrast by adding more black to this drawing. So... A few weeks ago, we talked about value, the element of value, and different ways of creating value with line. And one of those ways is by creating hatching. Okay, So when we talked about hatching, we talked about creating lines that were parallel with each other. And the closer those lines were together, the darker the value seemed to become. And the farther the lines were from each other, the lighter the value seemed. So if I get my hand out of the way for you, you can see my hatching lines. They're all diagonal going the same direction and they're about the same distance. These don't have to be perfect. You do not need to use a ruler. If you want to use a ruler, that's fine. Okay. But you're going to be adding these hatch lines in each of these shadow spots. So your shadow spots are here on the mountains and also those blobs that we drew down here. Now make sure all of your hatching lines go the same direction. So my blob, hatch lines, mine's going up and this way. Okay, so it's going to be the same on all of them. And you want to have the distance between your hatch lines to be about the same for all of these. Because if I created one where the lines were a little bit farther apart, okay, notice how that looks a little bit different? Okay, a lot of bit different. So... That's because my lines are farther apart. So I'm going to go back and add my lines in the middle, and it's going to look a little bit closer to what I'm going for. Not perfect because I didn't do it originally that way, so it looks a little bit funky, but it's fine. 
It's fine. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. So that is how you do the mountains. So let me know if you guys need any help, art nerds. I'm more than willing to give you a hand.